case. Ah, the detonator. It is a secondary weapon for the pyro. It has the main abilities and looks of the flare gun, with some side grades here and there. So what exactly makes this gun any different from the rest of the flare guns? Or heck, all other weapons in the pyro's arsenal overall? Well, to begin somewhere, let's go over the very basics of all flare gun weapons. They are, as the name suggests, flare guns. And what flare guns do is essentially shooting flares, obviously. These flares ignite people on fire. But if a person is already on fire and is hit by a flare, the flare actually does 100% critical damage to that player. They all serve the purpose they're supposed to and are just as reliable as any shotgun could ever be, might it not be in the same exact ways. The detonator shares some attributes with the other flare guns but really is something unique. With alt fire, you can detonate the flare at any given time for as long as the flare is still in the air. Now, I cannot tell how big the explosion radius actually is, but it seems it's more or less as big as the radius of a regular rocket. The downside of the detonator is that it has a minus 25% damage penalty and it does plus 50% damage to self. These two might sound pretty harsh, especially the second one. But, in actuality, this is what truly makes this gun so unique. The self-damage means you can essentially do detonator jumps. That works and functions much like a rock jump, crouch jump, and fire under you or at a wall. And off you go! Up, up and away. Detonator jumping or flare jumping is seriously probably one of the most fun tactics I've come across in Team Fortress 2. It not only opens up many more paths for the pyro to take and possibly even flank the enemy team with, but it also means you can, in a way, do market gardens. What I mean by this is that you jump with the detonator, pull out your melee weapon of choice, and hit your target as you're just about to hit the ground. Now personally, I prefer doing this tactic with the extinguisher, hitting somebody that's already been set ablaze. It is really fun to play around with the detonator, and it seriously opens up lots of new ground to cover that the pyro previously couldn't. If God had wanted you to live, he would not have created me! I could seriously go on and on about how amazing this little secondary weapon is, but that would be overdoing it. Just keep in mind that it does deal less damage than the regular flare gun, so it's not the most reliable weapon when it comes to dealing damage. But for area control and ultimate maneuver, it's a perfect choice for any pyromaniac out there. A weapon I highly recommend you to try out if you haven't already. But if you haven't thought it was just meh, then play around with it for a bit longer. I didn't love the weapon until recently, so if you just give it time, it may even turn out to be your favorite weapon. Oh, and a big thank you to Red Robot for your amazing videos about the detonator. You truly opened up my eyes anew for this underused piece of weaponry. It has quickly become my first choice as secondary and deserves all the love it can get. I hope you all enjoyed this little video I put together, and don't forget to subscribe for more. Take care, everybody.